Hello movie lovers and history enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the timeless classic, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Released in 1969, this film not only left an indelible mark on the Western genre but also featured a stellar cast that brought legendary criminals to life. But what happened to these actors after the film's success? That's what we're exploring in today's, then and now, special. Settle in and experience the journey of these iconic stars. Paul Newman as Butch Cassidy. Paul Newman, born January 26, 1925 in Shaker Heights, Ohio, emerged as one of American cinema's most talented and enduring actors. His journey spanning more than five decades was marked by a combination of talent, charisma and philanthropy. Newman, known for his piercing blue eyes and magnetic screen presence, became a Hollywood legend. Newman's career is a tapestry of diverse and powerful roles. After serving in World War II, he studied at the Yale School of Drama and then honed his skills at the Actors Studio in New York. His breakthrough came with, Somebody Up There Likes Me, 1956, where he played boxer Rocky Graziano. But it was films like Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, The Hustler and Cool Hand Luke that solidified his status as a serious contender in Hollywood. The pinnacle of success. Throughout his career, Newman has received many awards, including the Academy Award for Best Actor for The Color of Money, 1986, where he reprised his role as Fast Eddie Felson. Paul Newman passed away on September 26, 2008, at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy as an actor, philanthropist and racing enthusiast. Robert Redford as the Sundance Kid. Robert Redford, born August 18, 1936 in Santa Monica, California, rose to become one of the most influential figures in Hollywood. His role as the Sundance Kid is considered by many to be one of his most iconic roles demonstrating his ability to combine charm, wit, and poignancy. Redford's career includes acting, directing, and founding the Sundance Film Festival. He made a deep impression with his roles in Barefoot in the Park and The Sting, demonstrating his stature and talent. His directorial debut with the film Ordinary People, 1980, earned him the Academy Award for Best Director. Recognition and Influence Redford has received many awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom. His influence extends beyond cinema to environmental activism and independent filmmaking, through the Sundance Institute. Robert Redford is a living legend who continues to inspire through his artistic and philanthropic efforts. Catherine Ross as Etta Place. Catherine Ross, born January 29, 1940 in Hollywood, California, is best known for her role as Etta Place the seductive and strong-willed lover in the film, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This role along with her performance in The Graduate is a testament to her talent and versatility. Ross's career blossomed with The Graduate, 1967, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Her complex, nuanced roles in films like The Stepford Wives and Donnie Darko demonstrated her range. A character actor par excellence. His portrayal of Percy Garris in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid stands out in his impressive array of roles, showcasing his unique ability to bring depth and memorability to supporting characters. Martin's journey in Hollywood was marked by an array of diverse roles. Before his acting career, he was a national diving champion and served in the Navy during World War II. He made his mark in the entertainment industry with roles in westerns and dramas, often playing quirky, eccentric characters. A legacy of memorable roles. Martin's talent was recognized with various roles in prominent films. Although he never won major acting awards, his contributions to film were widely acknowledged. Strother Martin passed away on August 1, 1980, at the age of 61. The cause of his death was a heart attack. Henry Jones as bike salesman. Henry Jones, born on August 1, 1912, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania carved a niche for himself in Hollywood as a versatile character actor. His role as the bike salesman in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is among the many memorable parts he played throughout his extensive career. Jones' career spanned several decades, with appearances in numerous films and television shows. He was particularly known for his roles in Vertigo and 310 to Yuma. Recognition and Contribution while Jones never clinched major awards like the Oscars, his contribution to the entertainment industry was significant. Henry Jones passed away on May 17, 1999, at the age of 86. The cause of his death was not widely publicized, 
but he left behind a legacy of diverse and memorable performances that continue to be appreciated by audiences and critics alike. Jeff Corey as Sheriff Bledsoe. Jeff Corey, born Arthur Zwirling on August 10, 1914, in Brooklyn, New York, was a talented actor and respected acting teacher. His role as Sheriff Bledsoe in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was one of the many highlights in a career that spanned several decades, marked by resilience and adaptability. Corey's career was interrupted in the 1950s when he was blacklisted during the McCarthy era. However, he turned this setback into an opportunity, becoming a highly influential acting teacher. His students included James Dean, Jack Nicholson, and Jane Fonda. He returned to acting in films and television in the 1960s, with roles in In Cold Blood and True Grit. Accolades and influence. Though he never received major awards like the Oscars, Jeff Corey's influence as an actor and teacher was profound. Jeff Corey passed away on August 16, 2002, at the age of 88. He died of complications from a fall. As we close this chapter on the remarkable lives and careers of Strother Martin, Henry Jones, and Jeff Corey, it's clear that their contributions to cinema were as varied as they were impactful. Each brought their unique flair to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, leaving an indelible mark not only on this classic film but also on the countless other projects they were part of. And, if you enjoyed this deep dive into the lives and careers of these talented individuals, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to reading your comments and continuing this journey through film history together.